that 100 teenage girls from seven countries, that's Rwanda, Uganda, Liberia, Tanzania, Zambia, Malawi, and the U.S. recently gathered in Malawi for a Women in Science camp. Lamik Masina has more from the Malawi University of Science and Technology in southern Malawi. Experts from the Intel Corporation and Google teach the girls to develop mobile phone apps. It's one of several lessons offered at this two-week camp. The hope is that these teens will go on to pursue studies and careers in science, technology, engineering, arts and maths, also known as STEM fields. We want every girl that participates in this camp to walk away with the knowledge and the confidence that if they want to develop computer applications, then they absolutely can. And we're giving them the building blocks and access to start doing that. The camp was made possible by the UN Scale Up campaign, the US-based Intel Corporation, and the US Department of State. Those fields everywhere, in my country, the United States, here in Malawi, and in many countries around the world, those fields tend to be dominated by men. It's time for that to change. Role models were invited to share their experiences with the campers. The guests included the former American NASA astronaut, Leyland Mevin and Malawi's only two female pilots, Captain Yolanda Gawunda and First Officer Lusekero Menefumbo. I was undermined as a girl that I probably couldn't do the job or I couldn't do it as, as good as a man. But um, the training is the same for a man and a woman. I mean, that's why we're called pilots, not pilotesses. And those guys are really like inspiring people. And I learned that all of them, what they're doing, they're like doing very important things and they're in like male dominated fields and that they actually made it possible. What I learned is like, even if I want to be like in, a, in, a STEM, in the STEM field, so I need to work hard for it and I will achieve it even if I'm a girl. Organizers say more is expected from the girls after they come. These girls are going to go home and change their communities. They're going to bring this knowledge back to their schools. They're going to start Girl Up Clubs. And they're going to be the leaders in science, technology, engineering, arts and math. STEM camps have also been held in Rwanda and Peru since 2015. In all, about 300 teenage girls have participated. Lamek Masina for VOA News, Cholo, Malawi.